Hey everyone, on 25th January, Dixon announced its quarterly results and today on Friday 27th January, Dixon Technology share price has crashed 20%. With this, Dixon share is down nearly 52% from its peak of 5,600 to current levels of 2,700. Now, Dixon is one of the leading electronics manufacturer of India with a portfolio of manufacturing mobile phones, LED TV, LED lights, washing machine, laptops, security cameras with all top-notch brands and has now also forayed into wearable device sector. And company has consistently posted exceptional results for last many years. Especially post-COVID, there was high liquidity in the market and government also launched initiatives to boost manufacturing sector with PLI scheme, Atmanirbhar Bharat initiative and so on. And hence, Dixon emerged as one of the favorite stock of investors in manufacturing sector. As a result, Dixon share price jumped exponentially post-COVID. But when liquidity started drying up, Dixon shares also corrected. However, the latest Q3 results have resulted in one of the sharpest fall in Dixon share price history. So I tried to understand the reason for this correction. And I have also shared my viewpoint on this company. Basically, the reason for sharp correction in Dixon share price is because it has posted one of the worst quarterly results in the last few years. Company's revenue have fallen from 3,073 crore to 2,405 crore, registering 21.7% fall in year-on-year -year revenue. Although the net profits have jumped from 46 crore to 52 crore, registering around 12% year-on-year growth. Now, if you look at the segment-wise numbers, their consumer division revenues led by LED TV have fallen 39% year-on-year. Their mobile division, which is their fastest growing division revenues, have tanked 3% year-on-year. Lightning product segment has fallen by 39% year-on-year. And their home appliances segment has jumped 35% year-on-year on account of new automatic washing machine division growth. Now, a fall of 22% in revenue is not that crazy. We have seen such correction in the past, isn't it? So what is the reason for such sharp correction in Dixon share price? The answer lies in valuation. Since Dixon commanded a premium valuation with a PE ratio of 100, market did not like the degrowth in their business. Because when market gives valuation to a company, it is based on their near future growth prospect. And at the beginning of the year, management guided for revenue of around 17,000 crore for FR23. Later, they changed the revenue growth guidance to around 15,000 crore. However, after the latest result, the revenue guidance has reduced in the range of 12 to 12,500 crore. So clearly management got the revenue guidance wrong. The reason they mentioned that their forecasting is based on the forecasting from their key customer and that got reduced due to significant slowdown in export market. Hence, the sharp fall in revenue guidance over the last few quarters is the key reason why we have seen sharp correction in Dixon share because it commanded a high premium on the basis of their earlier guidance. Now I had a look at its con call transcript and management mentioned two key reasons for fall in revenue. First reason is last year Diwali was on 4th November 21 and this year Diwali was on 24th October 22. So management has mentioned that this year majority of demand for consumer electronics was booked in Q2 itself and that's where company posted great numbers in Q2. And second reason is there's a significant fall in prices as well as fall in demand in the international market due to the ongoing slowdown. For example, in TV segment, which is one of the largest segment of company, its average sale price in Q3 of FI22 was 16,000 rupees. This price has fallen to rupees 11,500 in Q3 of FI23. That's a sharp correction of 28%. So first of all, there was fall in volume, that is sales, and the price has also crashed due to global slowdown. So that resulted in sharp correction in the revenues. By the way, on the positive side, management has mentioned that they have closed the deal with Google for sub-licensing rights for Android and Google TVs. The trial will take place in Q1 and product launch will happen in Q2. Please note that almost 60 to 65% TVs sold in India are on Google and Android platform. Another positive news from Q3 result is the expansion in company's margin. Dixon margins have improved from 3% to 5%. And that is the reason if you look at the net profit, in spite of 22% fall in revenues, profits have jumped around 12%. And the reason is backward integration of the company which shift from their OEM business to ODM business that involves the manufacturing right from design to procuring raw material to final product manufacturing. So ODM that is original design manufacturing is a high margin business. 
and ODM contribution in the business has jumped from 20% in FR22 to 24% so far. So in absolute terms, ODM business is growing quickly and now 48% operating profit of the company comes from ODM segment. Another positive commentary from management is that they are about to close two large mobile phone manufacturing deal within a couple of months from big clients. So overall, while it has been a very disappointing quarter, I believe that FR24 should be much better. Now after the con call, I had a look at the latest view from the brokerage houses on the share price of Dixon Technology. While all the brokerage houses have downgraded the price, the target price is very different and it varies from brokerage to brokerage. For example, Credit Suisse has downgraded the target price from 4,500 to 3,000 rupee. Jefferies has downgraded the target price from 5,100 to 4,850 rupee. From domestic brokerage sector, Sher Khan has given a target of 4,960 and Edelweiss has given a target of 3,865. And currently, Dixon is trading at levels of 2,700. So overall, the brokerage house targets after Q3 results are much higher than the current price. Now, if you ask me, the simple reason for this sharp correction is due to the fall in revenue guidance and the fact that Dixon commanded a very high premium valuation with a PE ratio of 100. So, market did not like the degrowth. Now, I recently covered Dixon in my next multi-bagger series where it was trading at PE ratio of 100 and I mentioned that I wish Dixon is available at PE ratio of around 60 to 70. And this sharp correction has resulted in exactly that. At current levels of 2700, Dixon is now available at a PE ratio of 68. Now, as far as buy, sell or hold suggestion is concerned, I strongly believe that Dixon has a very, very bright future. So sell is not even a question for me because there's no change in the fundamentals of the company. If you look at the last 10 years of growth, Dixon's revenue have grown from 572 crore in FI12 to 767 crore, 1094, 1201, 1389, 2457 crore, 2842, 2984, then 4400, 6448, and 10,697 and now to 12,079 crore. That's more than 20 times growth in last 20 years. And its profits have grown from minus 7 crore in FI12 to 3 crore, 14 crore, 13 crore, 43, 48, 61, 63, 120, 160, 190 and now 238 crore. That's simply exceptional. But now since there's a global slowdown, it has impacted company's growth. And this is applicable almost in every sector that has some business from export. Between buy or hold, there can be two strategies. First strategy is to hold the investment and wait and watch for the upcoming result. And if the results improve, then you take a buy call. Then second strategy is add Dixon in a systematic manner. Now, I believe that after this sharp correction today, Dixon is looking attractive at PE ratio of 68. Yes, the valuations are still on higher side and if there's any negative surprise in the coming quarter, then it can impact the company's share price further. But if you have 5 to 10 years of investment horizon, then I would say that Dixon can be considered accumulating in a systematic manner over the next few months on every dip. At current levels, Dixon command a market cap of around 16,000 crore. So there's still a huge potential for growth in the next 5 to 10 years. But again, it is not a stock tip. Please analyze yourself and then take a call. I would again repeat that fundamentally there is no change in company's business. The revenues got impacted due to global slowdown. And since Dixon was commanding a very high premium due to its consistently high growth in the past, the shares have fallen after the poor Q3 performance. So definitely there is no need to panic. It's only a question to hold or accumulate the share. Now tell me what is your view on Dixon? Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.